Welcome back, Fred Crick, Chris Penn. We've got the Ultra unit sitting here behind us. And what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna show you the heat mode of this particular piece of equipment. Just like the BOVA, just like the BOVB, is that when I initially turn the system on from the thermostat in the heat mode, I am going to have an operational fact that this is going to be in the air conditioning mode just for a little bit. What we're doing at that point in time is we're making sure that the machine itself builds up enough head pressure so that I switch the reversing valve and not just the coil doing that operation. So we get a, we get a true uh, switch within the reversing valve. So here we go. Run this thermostat up just a little bit. Blower's going to come on. And to Fred's point, because of that, I may feel this line to be, be cold in the beginning. Um, it's not, again, not in the heating mode right off the bat, but uh, so I may feel it get cold. Once it switches, it's gonna start turning warm. Also gonna check amp draw here, um, just to see what startup amps are. As a previous product, Fred, we started about an amp and a half and less. Right. This product is going to be no different. Oh well, my goodness, okay. And then it's got a cruise control from there. And this is the five tone? This is the five tone, okay, yeah. Wow. So okay. it's going to be a little bit higher numbers than what we're, we're used to. Okay. Um, but again, as the compressor starts up, you know, the digital display is going to start with outdoor ambient, which is T4. Okay. And then when the compressor comes on, it's going to switch to the, the compressor speed, which is measured in hertz. Okay. Right now it says 28 hertz. Okay. I just heard reversing valve switch. Wow. I know, right? That, so that was, what, a minute? Uh, maybe, or, or so? maybe. Now I'm gonna kinda start feeling this getting a little warm. Okay. As uh, compressor speed goes up, this isn't gonna be really, really hot right out of the gate. Okay, so, it's gonna take a while. As, as compressor speed, um, you know, BTUs climb up there based on load, it's gonna take a little while okay. to, to reach steady state, is what we'll call it, or our, our, to match our target coil temperatures that we talked about earlier. So literally what we're doing, heat pump, we're literally taking the air that's coming through here yes, sir. and doing the refrigeration effect to it, taking the BTUs that we can extract from the air. Absolutely. Put it into the refrigerant, hmm, bring it into the air handler, take it through the coil, run air across it, and release those BTUs. That is correct. That's awesome. And you say that this is 100% down to what? 100% down to five degrees and 70% down to minus 13. Okay, well, well, hang on a second. At five degrees, it's 100% efficient, or capacity. That's correct. At COP of what? I believe it's 2.1. Okay, so let me, let me see if I can find a dollar. <laughs> you got a dollar? I do not have a dollar. Well, I do who's got a dollar, dollar at this place? We're shooting videos here. Okay. I don't Hang have on money. a second. We got a guy here that's got a dollar. Thank you, gentlemen. Hey, thanks, Dave. I'll always have a bank with you whenever you go anywhere, okay? So literally what we're doing here with the COP is, listen, if Chris is my power supply company, I give him a dollar. You know where that dollar goes, right? Back, I, okay. Actually, right. yeah, right and here. And so with that dollar spent, he's gonna give me a dollar's worth of power in a box, and I get to turn this unit on. At 2.1, 2.2, literally what I'm doing is I'm paying a dollar, getting the dollars back, and I have now two units, or two dollars if you don't mind, out of that one. That's a pretty good exchange. That's a really good payback. Boom, at five sure. degrees. At five degrees. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. That's awesome. All right, the other thing that I, we want to, dis, to display and to demonstrate today is literally the A2L uh, sensor, the device. That sensor, if you don't mind, that sensor is located down here in the coil. It is looking at the return air, um, uh, um, return air, not temperature, but uh, just basically it's like a radar if you don't mind. And as I, as I interject some particulates into this air stream, that A2L sensor is going to see that particulates and shut that condensing unit off. Let's find out how quickly that sensor does its job. And for previous conversations, as, as Fred said, uh, shut the compressor off and then the other part of that is we're gonna turn that fan to high fan speed if it currently is not already there. We're gonna be looking at our amp meter here too. A Couple of different things to look at here. I am looking at compressor speed right now, which is reading 31 hertz. When that compressor shuts off, 
I should be able to see my amp draw drop and my, my digital display go to, or back to the T4 setting, which it has, Fred. I think what, that took what, 10 seconds? Less than. I don't know how much you squirted on that thing, but 10 seconds, the compressor shut off, I do believe I heard the fan motor kick up a gear. Yep. Right, to high fan speed. And this particular, and now I'm, I'm reading just outdoor fan motor. I'm reading about 1.5 amps and right that'll, now. And that'll shut off in a minute. And that will, uh, that will shut off here in a minute. Basically like 45 seconds, that's what the logic of the fan motor is. And then this is gonna take uh, roughly from uh, some field testing that we did earlier, uh, about six to seven minutes. So during that six or seven minutes, We've got the fan on high. That's correct. We're dispersing all of that, what would have been the particulates. Diluting that refrigerant into the house through the duct system. Wow. And then we're going to reset. And that, yeah. what happens to that outdoor unit in the board that we can maybe see what's going on inside here? That's a really great question. Right now, it did not show an, an air code because okay. we're talking about a, a leak, uh, a sensor leak. Okay. Right? Okay. The, the sensor shut off based on a refrigerant leak. Uh, so what that did, it didn't show an immediate code, it just went to back to ambient temperature. I actually have to go into the point check button here. The, the parameter? To the parameters. Okay. And I go to parameter number three, and parameter three is now going to show me a B7. Now I got to tell you, that B7 looks like a six. Oh, wow. But on top of that, it's missing the, the little digital display at the top, you okay. know, kind of the way the six okay. is. But I will say it's also on the left two digits of the digital display. So we got three three digits in there available. That is correct. That is correct. And this this uh, uh, protection code is going to be on the left side. That is correct. Ah, there you go. That is correct. Okay. And in our testing yesterday, we saw that after about six or seven minutes, the the fan started to cycle back down, the condenser unit came back on, and we were back up and running like normal. That's correct. Okay. We saw a little uh, difference in the fan that went from high, I think it dropped down a speed. Right. And then it went back to its normal operation yep. from there. If, yep. if the last time it shut off was at high speed, again, that's all dependent on that logic. So okay. if, I, if I got a, you know, a bigger dead band and I, I got some temperature to make up, okay. I'm gonna be at the high, one of the higher fan speeds. Okay. Wow. Again, thank you very much for allowing us into your, into your place this week.